Once every few years, I review all of my productivity software to see if there are good alternatives for it that I have missed in the past time. And uh, this time, I'm reviewing the Free Commander. It's the tool that I have right now. That's my tool of choice. And uh, unlike the other reviews that you see in uh, for file managers on my channel, this one is actually going to scrutinize the one that I have. So uh, I'll try to be as unbiased as possible. And I have some requirements for the tools that I'm using. So first of all, dark mode. Dark mode is very important. I have three screens. Blasting with white colors to me at night, it's not a good option at all. So I must have my tools comply with my uh, preference for color schemas and everything. Font size, similar to Windows, I don't want to see any weird previews that some file managers might want to impose on you. Updates and compatibility, very important. If you find a bug in the software and there is no way to, for you to fix it and nobody is raising new versions, you are going to end up uh, replacing the tool eventually. So definitely uh, you need to, to take this into account. Navigation should be standard. I should not learn too many new skills while operating a file manager. Okay, and of course the convenient search because uh, Windows search is so bad that uh, yeah, you just need to be a little bit better than, <laughs> than it is. So let's dive into comparison. As you see, I have uh, the file manager here. Uh, unzipped, that is the portal version. And this is going to be the first time I'm opening it from this archive. I hope it doesn't inherit settings from previous session. And it does not. Okay, so this is how it looks like for the first time. Navigation is pretty standard, double clicking, double clicking to open new tabs. You cannot drag and drop tabs, or can you? Oh, you actually can. Okay, and it opens a copy of it. This panel in the middle needs to go, so we need to remove it. And let's start with the colors. So you will be inclined to go to settings to search for your colors. And it will even show you some of them, like use Windows Draw menus or something like that. But it's not here, actually. It's in the view, color schemas. And there are several uh, schemas. OK, it gives you a warning. So this is one of the schemas, not dark enough. Uh, let's try another schema. This one, this one works. Let's try another one. There was some cool name like Dark Fat by Dreamer. It doesn't work. There is actually a uh, theme editor. At least there was one in the past. View style, gradient, classic. What is what classic means? Oh, no. Uh, dark blue. It's not going to be dark blue. It's going to be uh, dark gray and fat. Okay. So this is the most convenient color schema that comes out of the box. That's the one that I'm using on my the screen. It's a little bit lighter than the dark schema for Windows 10 itself, but still dark enough uh, for you, for, for me not to see it uh, standing out on my screen. And when I compare it to, for, to my Outlook uh, in dark mode, for example, it's the same color schema, which is pretty nice. So that's how much it goes for color schemas. I want to eliminate this menu, so probably I'll go to view and I'll try to remove it from here. It's somewhere here. Uh, let's try to right click and see what we can see in settings. And it's just a preview. We'll try to mm, define action toolbars. Okay. So here are all the toolbars that exist. Uh, for example, we can add toolbars to left border, right border, but this one is called splitter. And I'm going to remove it and I say, I'm going to say apply, and there it is, it's gone. Now, those icons are super big, super big. So I'm going to remove, I'm going to remove uh, the settings so the icons would not uh, be as big. For the buttons and what's a basket icon icon i have no idea what it means button size let's put 16 and apply and it uh, doesn't work for us so that's the minimal uh, size of those icons i guess um, although you can make them smaller somehow top button position button spacing use big buttons use small font apply Okay, let's try to close and open it. Sometimes it doesn't tell you, but uh, 
it you need to open and close the buttons uh, or the file manager in order to see something okay small icons that's small icons for for here that's not what we meant i know for a fact that there is a way to change the size of those uh, icons and uh, i don't see it i don't see it here define action toolbars general options many to use fat symbols let's use fat symbols we need to close and open it once more Ooh, okay that's a little bit worse uh, we didn't have to use it let's go back okay and use big icons what happens when i go with uh, this okay now it's more it's, it's smaller okay fantastic so this is how we address it and let me just reopen it so the icons would be back to normal so we wouldn't think that <laughs> it generally sucks and the font size is a little bit uh, small over here on the buttons use big icons there we have it now it's super small and convenient and let's see the details pane over here we are in the program files so let's review the other things so dax mode is on font size is good uh, updates and compatibility so let's start on this let's stop on this one so when you go to downwards and you review the free version and i we use free tools when, when you can it says 18 12 20 20 and for portable versions it's going to be more or less the same so that's that that's uh, a few years ago <laughs> actually yeah uh, not few years ago sorry that's half a year ago and um four months or something so it's not updated uh, frequently but free commander 64 bit is available for donors right and when you go here to donors it actually says well free commander is freeware without any fees to pay but if you want to see a feature that doesn't exist in a free version then donate and you'll get the feature so basically it's premium access and it's a little bit weird for me that's a really weird phrasing i mean the software is amazing and the guy that develops it spent a lot of time on uh, doing that However, uh, calling it donation and then providing features for donation, basically giving premium access, it's really weird wording. I, I would change that. I mean, you want premium? Yeah, well, you deserve premium access. You deserve to monetize it. But confusing uh, the terminology here, it's really weird for me. When you go to check for updates, you'll see that there was a new release. There is a new release uh since the the uh, version that we have right here but you cannot download them because all of them are donors okay you need to you need to be a donor in order to get access to all of those bug fixes and everything at some point they will drop into the 32-bit uh, version maybe but uh, we are already six versions behind. So, of course, we know where the loyalties lie over there. So, uh, so far, the software is good and it does get updated, um, which is pretty awesome. And um, yeah, I'm not going to switch to a new one. That's the conclusion. Okay, let's review the search. I hit some files over here. I'll go to con and do Control F and it will have a file name, search, or anything. And let's search for Commander. And it finds them immediately. Of course, this is a very small search. We're gonna do a bigger one later. When I right click, I cannot view it in a folder or something. There is no menu, but there are buttons over here. And basically it also tells you what the, what's the hotkey. So whatever active tab you have over here, once you hit space uh, on some of the selections, uh, it will all show the context in here. And it can also, I think, uh, open in an active file, right? Control space, what it means. Yes, uh, it opens them in both active file uh, panels. What else it can do? Export to container and uh, quick view and whatever. So, uh, yeah, not, not bad at all. 
Let's change our search. I'll go to C Windows and I'll search for a wildcard JPEG. Okay, and I'll expand the search. And what we are looking for are the Windows wallpapers, which is found. So if I click on cancel, it leaves the results. So cancel is actually a stop as well. And I'll go and navigate to the menu over here. It has images and I want to see them in thumbnails. So this is a native thumbnail, but I can view it in a bigger one. I have a choice. So if I'm editing a lot of photos and I want to navigate between them all, uh, I have options that allow this faster browsing through here, which is uh, super nice. And I can switch back to normal views. The favorites, add to active favorite, take to uh, favorites, edit, add, selected. So this is how it looks like. You see it just appears here in favorites and you have favorites here as well. So pretty convenient. And that's about it. There are many, many more options like accessing FTPs and uh, accessing DOS, running all kinds of uh, features here. Um, yeah, connecting to network drives and uh, renaming in bulk, but all of those are pretty much the same on all file explorers. The daily operation, the one, the bulk of the clicks, like 90% of your clicks, or I don't know, 99% of your clicks, this is where the convenience should be, first of and foremost. Additional, additional layers of complexity, fine, but uh, definitely, uh, the day-to-day -day job, that, that the tasks are important more than most. And this is it. I'm not switching to a new file manager, and I will see you in the next video.